I decided to head out early morning to a group of islands further out to sea. I would need a bigger boat for this with two engines to be safe. Victor was still keen to come along and lend a hand. About 23 meters here. We also had the advantage of a depth finder on the boat, so we could see how deep the drop box were. Jumping off this boat was not so easy as it was much higher. If the rocks were low, I often opted for the swim in instead. Okay, he's going to leave us for a while. Hopefully we have some luck here. Right in the middle of that channel. What have I hooked here? Like a little... What the hell is that? Looks like a big blenny. What's been that? I can't believe that lure's as long as him. It's the pesh, Paul Toka. Paul Toka, see? If you know where a good spot is, you can stay there and wait for the bigger fish to pass through. But as it was my first time fishing here, I decided to give each spot about half an hour and then move on to the next island. We gave these islands a good try, moving around to as many islands as we could throughout the morning. But apart from the small rockfish and a big hit from something else that didn't connect, there was nothing doing, so we decided it was better to move back to the other group of islands that we'd had more success with. We're heading back to the group of islands I've fished the last two days. We had about a half an hour trip in the fast boat and had time to take a little bit of lunch before we arrived. to these islands ended up being a good decision as we ended the day getting into some nice fish. On this trip I was targeting roosters and Kabira snapper. I knew there'd be some jack crevall about and I also love catching them as they're really hard fighting fish. I was bringing it out, it shocked me. There was also a lot of needlefish around. You could often see them early mornings chasing the bait fish in the shallows. These weren't one of the fishes I was really after, but I did end up hooking quite a few of them over the time. Gracias. this spot has jacks all the time here. It's one of those places that just holds them. It's not really what I'm aiming for but a big jack is definitely uh, great fun and they're one of the best fighting fishes for their size I know.
Oh, I'm not. Oh, there's a jack. I'm not letting him turn his hand. It's another one of those ones that's chasing. I've got the drag up pretty tight because of these rocks if I catch something really big what I'm aiming for it's still pretty strong for its size that's different I've never caught one of these jacks before, but after checking it out, I think it was an African pompana fish. But don't hold me to that, I'm not 100% sure. They're out here. Out here, fishing for roots. I haven't actually caught any here. There's some blue runner out here, small ones. Just feeding the saw on the inside earlier. So hopefully that'll bring some roost to me. So I know they feed on them. I was really pleased to get into a good sized Jack Laval. It was what started out to be a very quiet morning on the other islands but ended up being quite lively at this new spot. There was about an hour of light left so it was still time to catch something else. O mais action aqui, o mais aqui que é outro lugar, é o seca. Funny. E não muito profundo. Não. This was real Jack Craval territory. They seemed to like hanging around the rocky spots looking to ambush the smaller bait fish. This spot wasn't very deep, so you couldn't give them much room to maneuver, so I kept my drag up pretty tight. Oh. Oh. The rocks were really slippery. You literally couldn't stand up and play a fish at the same time, especially with the drag up pretty tight because of all the rocks around.
the minute. I really couldn't believe how much harder this jack fought compared to the earlier one, which was around the same size. It's not like the first one was easy, but this one was just so much stronger. Although it was a pretty rocky spot, once you got the fish in close, it was quite easy to land it as there was a gentle slope up and you could just grab the leader. <laughs> Il pense bueno no best rocky. Hey, it's a fishing rod. <laughs> Oh, this bank's heavy. Oh, it's so good. I'm sure it's going to be good this morning. I thought there'd be some fish around today due to the bait fish I could see close to the rocks. But unfortunately, it was a busy morning catching crocodile needle fish. I would have to wait till later in the morning to catch my target species. The needlefish would have been great fun on light tackle with their acrobatics. After a little while here fishing, I decided to move on to another spot that I'd had a lot of success in over the week. I'm going to cast out now to this rock here. It's a bit slippery the rocks around this where I am standing now. So a lot of bait fish hang around these rocks. And so obviously the bigger fish. Oh. Something had a hit down that I think that was a needle thing. Kind of spot where you feel you could get a hit at any second. There's a lot of rock structure out there and as the current passes through and up the line needle fish. Yeah, <laughs> the acrobatic. Look at that. See that in the sun. Look at that the sun. Oh, there's something after him. Oh, something's after him, isn't there? I didn't get anything correct. Yeah, there's a load of jacks after them down there, look. Look at that. They're around, all right. Here he goes. But, you know, obviously the further you can get, the better. And that's what I like about these long half lures. Cover as much ground as you can, make sure. So, another needle fish. Jump in there, flip in it. I can't believe it's needle fish again. The balance. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean on light tackle I reckon there would be, it would be fun I'm not using light tackle because I'm hard to a much bigger fish but this is a bit this isn't a bad one and it's right in the mouth targeting some rooster fish in this island there's some blue runners feeding on the inside over there which they feed on so definitely a place that they come pass one to that rock Go around and check the spot. Get around the whole island this one. And the swells are pretty small here and safe, so just make this get a bit more enjoyable. The only danger is slipping on the slippery rocks. Not the kind of place you're going to get swept off the rocks here. This makes it a lot easier if you have to land a big fish. Second again, so be careful. Just following around. It's not that big, but. So after another enjoyable day's fishing, we headed back home. But I had a nice surprise when we came across a mother and baby whale. Whoa. Okay. Okay, no, but...